the Israeli short-range air-to-air missile family from the Shafrir 1 to the Piton 5 has a special place in military aviation history. Even though the first step of this adventure, the Shafrir 1 was a failure, Israel has brought its four legendary airs to life with its dedicated work. Today, we're investigating the Shafrir 1, Shafrir 2, Piton 3, Piton 4 and Piton 5, the venomous teeth of the Israeli Air Force. Having indigenous air-to-air -air missile design and production capability has always been vital for Israel, which is surrounded by enemy neighbors. So, it has worked in this field since the 1950s to achieve its dream. Yes, Israel started this adventure badly with the Shafrir 1, but it has continued with the legendary Shafrir 2, Piton 3, Piton 4 and Piton 5. The creation of the Shafrir was closely related to the development after the 1956 Suez Crisis. After the war, Egypt and Syria quickly improved their relations with the USSR and got modern Soviet weaponry. So, Tel Aviv realized that the next decade would be challenging for Israel and the Israeli military planners began to consider the preemptive strike option. In those years, Washington had already distant relations with Tel Aviv. Also, such an action might naturally cause some reaction from other Western countries, which could lead to an arms embargo. Besides, fighting against Egypt, Syria and Jordan simultaneously would require lots of equipment and ammunition, and acquiring them from foreign sources would bring a tremendous burden on the national defense budget. Thus, Israel prioritized having an independent national defense industry. The Shafrir air-to-air -air missile program was initiated in 1959 as a part of this decision. However, the country's technological capabilities were not as high as today and the first attempts were a complete failure. But Israel had already acquired some AIM-9B Sidewinders in 1958. The Rafael engineers examined this air-to-air -air missile and made some design changes based on this work. The later prototype of the Shafrir had an enlarged engine and diameter, an extended body, new roller-ons copied from the Sidewinder and a three times heavier warhead. These changes increased the missile's weight but also its range. Yet, the Shafrir still had an unsatisfactory performance. Even though the Rafael engineers did not believe in their product and proposed many improvements, Israel ordered 200 missiles in 1962. Due to budgetary reasons, Tel Aviv rejected the proposed modifications. But it also approved the development of the improved Shafrir 2 missile. The Israeli Air Force took the Shafrir 1 into its service in 1963. Only 120 missiles were delivered. The Israeli pilots gave the nickname Bidon to the Shafrir. Bidon means the external fuel tank. Sometimes, the missile did not fly but fell to the ground like an external fuel tank. According to Israeli sources, the Shafrir runs shot three MiG-21s down during the Six-Day War. The war revealed that Israel's concerns were correct and France began to impose an arms embargo. This situation accelerated the Shafrir 2 program, which had been initiated in 1962. The process for the development phase was smooth. In the beginning, Israel had tasked IMI with the production. However, the technical capabilities of this company were inadequate, so Rafael, who had worked in the development phase, became the main contractor and producer. The first flight tests were made in 1965 and the Shafrir 2 entered service in 1969. Compared to its predecessor, the missile had 1 cm enlarged diameter. Also, it was faster and 28 kilograms heavier. The Shafrir 2's infrared seeker is limited by sensitivity to rear hemisphere engagements. It does not have a head-on engagement capability. After the missile's seeker locks on a target, an audio signal informs the pilot. A corresponding symbol is also shown in the head-up display. After launch, the rocket engine, which has a burn time of 5 seconds, accelerates the Shafrir 2 to a speed of around Mach 2.5. Even though its maximum range is 9 km, this distance is reduced to 3 km at low altitudes. 
The minimum effective range of the Shafrir is 600 meters. Unlike the Shafrir 1 with 2.5G maneuver capability, the Shafrir 2 can perform 6G ones. Also, it has an additional proximity fuse while its predecessor only had an impact fuse. If the target is missed, the Shafrir 2 self-destructs after a flight time of 27 seconds. The Shafrir 2 gained its first combat success on July 2, 1969 when an Israeli Mirage 3 piloted by Yaakov Richter shut down an Egyptian MiG-21. Until the 1973 Yom Kippur War, the Israeli pilots would fire 35 Shafrir 2s and shoot down another 17 Arab aircraft. During the war, the Israeli Air Force launched 176 missiles, destroying 89 Arab aircraft. In its Israeli service, the Shafrir 2 was credited with 106 shooting down of aircraft and helicopters. The missile was also used in combat by the Argentines in the 1982 Falklands War and the Ecuadorians in the Senapa War. Probably being retired today, the Shafrir 2 was preferred by Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Honduras, Israel and Taiwan. Some sources also claim that South Africa and Turkey also use the missile. The infrared homing Shafrir 2 has a length of 2.5 meters, a wingspan of 0.55 meters and a diameter of 160 millimeters. The weight of the missile is 93 kilograms. It has an 11 kilogram high explosive warhead. Its maximum effective range is 5 kilometers. The top speed of the Shafrir 2 with a solid fuel rocket engine is over Mach 2.5. The next step was the Shafrir 3 program. However, Rafael named its new air-to-air -air missile the Piton 3. It is bigger and heavier than the Shafrir 2. Compared to its predecessor, the Piton 3 has many improvements. It has an extended range and enhanced attack capability against low-flying targets. Thanks to its improved aerodynamics, the missile can perform 35G maneuvers. Other sources claim its maneuver capability is 40 or even 56G. The much more reliable new seeker of the Piton 3 has a broader detection angle than the Shafrir 2. It can be launched at an angle of 30 degrees from the aircraft's firing line. During the flight, the detection angle of the missile seeker increases to 40 degrees. The Piton 3 also has an head-on engagement capability. The missile's later models can be integrated with the Albit Systems Dash helmet-mounted sight system. The Piton 3, known as Zafarir in the Israeli Air Force, is also produced in China under license. This variant is called PL-8. China is also reported to have developed the helmet-mounted sight system for the missile. The pre-production models of the Piton 3 were used in the 1982 Lebanon War. In this war, the missile scored 35 confirmed kills. Some sources increased this number to 50. The missile was also used in combat by the Ecuadorians in the Senapa War. Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, China, Colombia, Ecuador, Israel, Romania and Thailand still used the Piton 3. South Africa retired the missile, whose local designation was V3S Snook. The infrared homing Piton 3 has a length of 2.95 meters, a wingspan of 0.8 meters, and a diameter of 160 millimeters. The weight of the missile is 120 kilograms. It has an 11 kilogram high explosive warhead. Its maximum effective range is 15 kilometers. The top speed of the Piton 3 with a solid fuel rocket engine is Mach 3.5. The fourth generation Piton 4 air-to-air -air missile has a different size and shape from the Piton 3. Its development works began in the 1980s. It was designed as a response to the Soviet AA-11 Archer missile. The Piton 4 has two sets of four delta control fins at the nose and two rectangular control fins behind. It is the first Western air-to-air -air missile with the integration capability with a helmet-mounted sight system. Its seeker uses a dual-band technology array to reduce background infrared radiation to reduce the effectiveness of enemy flares. 
The Piton 4 has a 60 degree off bore side launch capability. It can perform up to 60G maneuvers with the ability to turn through 180 degrees within 3 seconds after launch and intercept the target behind the launch aircraft. Thanks to this feature, if the missile misses the target in its first attack, it can turn and continue chasing. It is an active laser proximity fuse. Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, India, Israel, Thailand and Venezuela are the missile's current users. The infrared homing Piton 4 has a length of 3.1 meters, a wingspan of 0.5 meters and a diameter of 160 millimeters. The weight of the missile is 120 kilograms. It has an 11 kilogram high explosive warhead. Its maximum effective range is 15 kilometers. The top speed of the Piton 4 with a solid fuel rocket engine is Mach 3.5. The development of the Beyond Visual Range Piton 5 began in 1993. In those years, the Israeli Air Force did not seek a replacement for the Piton 4, but Rafael developed the missile as a private venture. The Piton 5 became operational in 2005. Thanks to its integration capability with a helmet-mounted sight system, the missile can be launched at a target regardless of its location relative to the direction of the launching aircraft. Its electro-optical and imaging infrared homing seeker scans the target area for hostile aircraft, then locks on for terminal chase. Thus, the missile can lock onto targets after launch. The seeker has a detection angle of 100 degrees and is highly resistant to chaff flares. These features give the Piton 5 rearwards attack capability. Similar to Piton 4, the Piton 5 can turn and continue chasing if the missile misses the target in its first attack. It has an active laser proximity fuse. The Piton 5 was first used in combat during the 2006 Lebanon War. The Israeli F-16s used the missile to destroy two Iranian-made Ababel unmanned aerial vehicles operated by Hezbollah. Also, on May 13, 2021, an Israeli F-16 shot down a Hamas-operated Shahab kamikaze drone with a Piton 5. Chile, Colombia, India, Ecuador, Israel and Singapore are the missile's current users. The missile is also a part of the Spider air defense system alongside the Derby. Since we will make a separate video about the Spider, we will not mention the surface launch Piton 5 and its users. The infrared homing Piton 5 has a length of 3.1 meters, a wingspan of 0.64 meters and a diameter of 160 millimeters. The weight of the missile is 103.6 kilograms. It has an 11 kilogram high explosive warhead. Its maximum effective range is 20 kilometers. The top speed of the Piton 5 with a solid fuel rocket engine is Mach 4. Israel has decidedly worked on its domestic air-to-air -air missile development program and brought the five generations of a dynasty to life. Yes, the first attempt, the Shafri run, was not successful. Still, its heirs have made history. The Israeli short-range air-to-air missile family is undoubtedly a legend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.